Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to show the list or the interactive messages from our very own AWS Lex 2, Lex version 2. So there has been many questions asked on this, how we can do the simplified code, which I shown in the previous video, how we can do the same thing with the Lex V2. Before moving on, uh, so, uh, no, this is not just for the me, for every creator, YouTube creator that we have, right? Uh, do subscribe to their channels. Uh, all the contents are the free, but uh, the subscription does help the content creator uh, much. So this is my <laughs> status, 89% not are not subscribed. Okay, uh, so coming over here. Okay, so what we are doing over here is, this is a simple flow. Uh, if you have seen my previous videos, this is mentioned over there. So what we are doing is we are asking for help. So let's say I please type help for rich message. Yes. Okay. Something like that. Any message that you can give. And right now over here we are pointing to Lex V2 uh, bot. Okay. Uh, so let's go over there first. So let's understand that part. Okay. So this is the, uh, let me go back. Okay. So this is the bot that I have uh, main menu IVR. If you see over here, uh, my cursor, right. And over here, what I have done is I've just for now created our intent help. Okay. And in the help, uh, I have given the training phrase as this three, right. The important thing that we have to do is use the lambda function for validation and initialization, right? Now, if I uh, go to test and click on setting, right? What you have to do is point to a lambda, which is nothing but this. Okay. So this is the most important part, how it is different from Lex V1 lambda and Lex V2 lambda, right? So there are certain difference in the JSON response, message structure and all this thing which I have handled over here, uh, uh, which I'll explain also, right? Okay, so over here, what I'm doing is once users say help, right? We will display a interactive message, something like uh, this, right? And once users select book a flight, right? Uh, we are triggering an intent, right? Uh, so if you see over here, book a flight, I've given I've given just one utterance over here, whatever we are showing in the UI. If you see over here, book a flight, right? Similarly, you can create for flight information, manage booking and contact us. So those are also you have to create as a intent, okay? Now, the most and the foremost important thing uh, is over here, Lex, right? So over here, uh, we are relying on two uh, response type, one is Elicit intent and close, right? So this also was there in the Lex V1. What is the difference is certain difference in the V2 is, let me scroll back, is that uh, dialogue action does not have the messages. Okay, so that is the one difference. In And dialogue action does not have the uh, fulfillment state also so that is now part of the intent so these are the two major changes that you have to handle and along with that we have to pass the session id uh, which was uh, we don't have to pass earlier right in the lex v1 lambda okay so what i'm doing over here is if you scroll down is uh, we are calling this function whenever the lex intent is getting triggered okay so over here we are just calling that even no if and no else over here Right over here, what I'm doing, I'm getting the current intent name, which we required for our functionality to trigger when to trigger the list, right? And this is just a JSON list that I have copied, pasted, and modified from the uh, interactive message JSON provided in the AWS website. So let me open that one. AWS uh, connect interactive message. So if I open this one, and if I scroll down, so these are the, what do you say, the uh, templates or the interactive messages which are available, list, time, panel, quick reply, carousel, right? And in the carousel, these are the JSON format they have given. 
I have just copy pasted the same over here no major fuss uh, or anything just that I have changed the title nothing else right now what we are doing over here with the intent is help we are passing a custom payload to elicit intent which will be written back to the user okay now when I say user means to the Amazon connect okay uh, and this lambda is present in the github I have shared the link in the description section you can find the lambda and download from there okay so what we will do is we have already deployed this one uh, as you have seen from previous videos so once I say once I get the message why I didn't get the message like that but oh, I have not published it okay sorry uh, I forgot to mention this one right so we have pointed to Lex main menu IVR over here uh, where it is main menu IVR right main menu IVR and now if I click on any of the message it will trigger the intent right so what are the four options we have book a flight flight information and this thing so just for the example I will create one more add a intent add a empty intent but I will give a name uh, so let's go and let's do flight information so we'll give flight information we cannot have space we'll remove this place click on add and I will just add this particular utterance over here okay and save intent and I will do a build okay now meanwhile what I will do is over here along with that add intent I can get the flight information right uh, without a space okay just zoom in yeah and click save and for this I will display a message something called something a message called flight info intent okay something like that and I will just uh, disconnect the flow over here and here click publish click publish hopefully it has been built not yet let me pause the video while it gets built oh doing that it already got built okay so now I will click again over here did I publish this one yeah I just published okay so now once I say help or once I get this message I will say help right and I get this message now this is coming from Lex V2 and once I select flight information right so I get that flight alert has been selected so this is how uh, uh, we can achieve the interactive message in the Lex V2 okay this is V2 version 2 right and uh, updated lambda is also available and also in the uh, this code is also uploaded into a github which is given in the description section uh, just an FYI this code is not been tested for the production so before going to the production just make sure that you have thoroughly tested this is not the code provided by AWS this is a code which I have generated by removing all the complexities and everything is now intent based not a slot based okay hopefully you like the video thank you have a nice day